Hello Year 6. My name is Mr Lloyd and I'm the head teacher here at St Tylo's Church in Wales High School. In September, you won't just be joining a new school. You'll be joining a team, Team Tylo. And you won't just be following a curriculum. You'll be taking part in a mission, a mission to improve excellence, increase equity and deepen faith. We do this so that you might be fully the person that God is calling you to be. You see, we believe that God created you perfectly and purposefully just the way you are, and it's our job to help you flourish. I'm sorry that coronavirus has prevented me from speaking to you personally today, but I hope that this short film serves as an introduction to your new school. Hello everyone, for those of you who haven't met me yet, my name is Mrs Pitt. I just wanted to say a huge welcome to all of the Year 6s who are joining us in September and also to your parents and carers as you join our Team Tylos family. We are so pleased you are coming to us in September and I cannot wait to meet each and every one of you. Just to give you a little bit of background about myself, I have been teaching geography in St Tylos for about 16 years now and part of the pastoral team for about 12. I'm also a mum myself and although I have been doing transition and helping and guiding pupils for as long as I can remember, last year was my first experience from the other side of transition as my eldest daughter joined high school. From that experience I realised that no matter how nervous you are feeling year six, your parents and carers are feeling 10 times as nervous. I also learned that how, however many questions you have about starting high school, parents and carers usually have 10 times more. So I did also want to take this opportunity to just reassure your families that your children are in very, very safe hands. In my role as an achievement leader, throughout your first year in St. Tylo's, I will be there to support, to care, and to guide you every step of the way. Sadly, COVID-19 has had an impact on all of our lives this year, and it's meant as a school, we've had to change our usual transition plans. We find ourselves in very strange and unpredictable times, but we will do everything we can to ensure a smooth transition into high school. You are part of history. Don't be afraid, please be reassured that you are now and always will be part of our Team Tylos family. My name is Mrs Anderson Hill and I'm responsible for teaching and learning here at St Tylos. It's important to us that every lesson is a worthwhile and enjoyable experience. This is the reason why each classroom is a learning space, healing space and sacred space. Learning spaces inspire and inform and encourage you to participate in learning. Healing spaces comfort and encourage and celebrate your progress and achievement. And sacred spaces are welcoming and reflective and will have a real sense of belonging. Well, welcome to St Tylo's. Um, my name is Father Gareth and I'm the school priest here and I've been working here for just over a year now and it really is the best job I've had in my life. This school is such a happy and a welcoming place to be. In my role then as a school priest, I teach a little bit of RE. I get to listen to and talk with lots of young people. But I guess the main focus of my work is to try and help you become the best version of you, to become the person that God wants you to be uh, the gifts that God has given you to become the person he wants you to be and to try and make a, a difference in the world. So my role is to encourage your kindness and your generosity to yourself and to each other. So I look forward to getting to know you over the next few years and beginning this uh, discovery of faith together. On my first day in secondary school, my head teacher told me a story, and I'd like to share that story with you today. It's a story about an empty jar, and it tells us something about our priorities in life. 
This is our library. It's a popular place with children here at St Tylo's. We have a huge range of books and board games. You can also get involved with film club. You can borrow laptops. You can even buy some pens and pencils in our stationery shop. A really great place to be. Brilliant learners are in control. This means they remain calm at all times, allow others to speak without interruption, and polite to everyone. Brilliant learners are grateful. This means they say thank you to those who help them, do kind things for other people, and appreciate the opportunities that they have. Are you in control? Are you grateful? Can you be a brilliant learner? A teacher stood in front of his class and he put on his desk a large and empty jar. The teacher reached below his desk and he picked up some large rocks and placed them inside the jar until they reached the very top. Is the jar full? The teacher asked his class. Seeing that the jar was full of rocks and they went to the very top, the class said, yes, the jar is full. The teacher reached below his desk. This time he picked up a bag of pebbles and he poured the pebbles into the jar and the pebbles fell between the gaps in the rocks. The pebbles went to the top of the jar and the teacher said, is the jar full now? Seeing that the pebbles had fallen between the rocks and had gone to the very top, his class said, yes, now the jar is full. The teacher reached below his desk again. This time he picked up a bag of sand and he poured in the sand, each grain falling between the gaps in the pebbles. The sand went to the very top of the jar and the teacher said, is the jar full? Now, thinking that grains of sand were pretty small, the class said, yes, the jar is full, it has rocks, it has pebbles, it has sand. You can't fit any more in. The jar is full. So finally, reaching below his desk, the teacher picked up a glass of wine and he poured the wine into the jar and the liquid seeped between the tiny gaps between the grains of sand. Now, said the teacher, the jar is full. This is one of our art classrooms. If you enjoy painting, pastels, drawing, clay, this is the place for you to unleash your creative talents. Brilliant learners are zesty. This means they show enthusiasm, invigorate others, and they get stuck in. Brilliant learners are gritty. This means when the going gets tough, they keep going. They finish the things they start no matter what. And they look for their own solutions when they are stuck. Are you zesty? Are you gritty? Can you be a brilliant learner? The empty jar very much represents our lives. The rocks are the things that truly matter. They represent God or our family or our health. If all else is lost, as long as we have those rocks in our lives, then our lives have meaning. The pebbles, they're important too. They represent our school and our friendships and our relationships. But the sand, well, that represents the small things in life, like our Xbox or social media or our trainers, the things that don't really matter, but that sometimes can distract us. This is the sports hall. If you love football, rugby, athletics, dance, tennis, whatever your sport, you will love this place. We also have a gymnasium, we have a dance studio, we have a mugger, we have courts, and we have an astroturf. If you like sport, you'll love it here at St Tylo's. Brilliant learners are curious. This means they explore new things, ask questions, and listen to other ideas. Brilliant learners are prepared. This means they start work straight away, follow instructions straight away and with good grace, and pay attention 
whilst avoiding distraction. Are you curious? Are you prepared? Can you be a brilliant learner? Let's think again about that jar. If we put the sand in first, then there wouldn't be enough room for the rocks and the pebbles. And the same is true about our lives. If we spend our time focusing on the small stuff, then we don't leave enough space for the things that really matter. So when you join us in September, we'll want you to focus on the rocks in your lives, the things that really give you meaning. And don't sweat the small stuff. Brilliant learners are optimistic. This means they just have a go. Know that putting in effort will lead to improvement and believe in themselves. Brilliant learners are emotionally intelligent. This means they find their own solution to conflict. Show sensitivity towards others' feelings. Are you optimistic? Are you emotionally intelligent? Can you be a brilliant learner? Now, you may be wondering about the glass of wine. Well, to the parents and the carers who are watching this film, the moral of the story is, however full our lives are, there's always room for a glass of wine. So I'd like to pray with you and for you now as you make this important step in your life. Let us pray. Creator God, thank you that you made us in your image, strong and kind, good and imaginative. Fill us with the courage of your Holy Spirit as we make this new start together. Enable us to become the people you've made us to be and bless us with the certain knowledge that you are walking with us every step of the way. In Jesus' name, Amen.